Hello, everybody, and welcome to another set of roster reviews. Our first, first account we're looking at is Seth Senpai, or Keth Senpai, not sure. They're in the Balanced Empire, uh, Kyber 3, 8.6 million GP. It said they started in early 2020 sometime. I'm um, not exactly sure. And let's look at fleets first. Okay, so we got Scythe full up. That's good. Um, don't always see that, even in the accounts over 8 million and such, so that's very nice to see. Uh, they're focused on Grand Arena, by the way, uh, they did say that. Uh, Leviathan is finished top 7 stars, so this player's ahead of me in that regard. I'm really slow, because I don't have enough crystals, and because of this guy, I am hemorrhaging crystals trying to get this ship finished. Um... For this player, I guess it's not super worth it because they have gear one, level one, bad batch. But it's a really strong ship. I have it at six stars right now, um, but we got two days left. So I, I, this video is coming out after in a couple days. So I'm at six stars with two days left. Hopefully finish it off at seven stars. Uh, the rest of fleets, I mean, I don't care too much. Um, they have all the good stuff. Not a ton in Datacrons yet. Okay, so like... I don't know, you need to interact with Datacrons more to succeed in Grand Arena. There's, I mean, you got a few for set 10, but set 11, you should have some more by now. Uh, maybe that's just the increased difficulty at the beginning of this conquest really kicking in. It takes a longer time to get to those Datacron nodes. And I can understand that. Uh, three Galactic Legends, JML, JMK, and Central Emperor. So just the perfect setting for the Lightspeed Bundles. I'm pretty sure they would have bought them. Uh, so let's check that out. Uh, let's just do first order first, because it's a little easier. Yep, so all R5. Um, Omicron on first order Tide Pilots. I don't know, maybe they had this for a while. Eh, mods are a little weak. I mean, if you're going to give them the Omicron, you want to boost them up a little bit. You're going to get good use out of this in the upcoming 3v3. Um, this will this video is going to come out after lock, though, unfortunately. But for the second week, you want to give him mods. You want to give Huck some good speed mods. Probably struggling uh, for mod more for mod depth with all these new packs. Uh, but Huck's top speed priority for sure. Tie pilot just some good damage with some good speed. A lot of them you can kind of neglect for three v three. I don't think first order officer is going to see any play with that Supreme or Kyler Ren yet. Uh, same with the others. I mean, you're pretty much only going to get use out of. Uh, these three up top, and then Kaloran amassed as a plug-and-play. He doesn't have to be, like, fast or anything, especially since you have the two Zetas, but I think he could have a lot more health and protection. Yeah, I don't like the defense primaries. Give him protection primaries. If you're going to give him five dot mods, that's going to go way further for you. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to be working on Supreme or Kylo for sure. Let's look at the Empire to see if they have Palpatine. Okay, Palpatine is ready. And and we'll see in a second if they got Veteran Smuggler Han. I'm guessing uh, if they bought the packs. But while I'm at Empire, let's just take a look around. Uh, I need gear 12. Uh, actually, a good priority for more relics, just given the, val uh, the value of her ship in the counter to Leviathan. It's the most consistent thing we have. Uh, so get her to gear 13. I see you're close. Uh, so maybe that is the goal there. Get her to gear 13. Give her some relics. I think relic 5 is a good target to start for now. Guard Trooper, you know, gear 11. Uh, might be a good time to buckle down and focus, get him up, because it looks like the m most of your Imperial Trooper team is up and running. At least the Sith Eternal Emperor components. Uh, and then it's just, I mean, Dark Trooper is the most valuable relic on that team. It's going to be hitting hard. It's going to be a great time. It's especially with Imperial Trooper Datacron, so get some of those. Get them to at least Relic 3 so you can run them. And then Range or Moff Gideon probably need to bump up too. But, uh, Inquisitors, just gonna take the Sojourn there. Inquisitors, you know, Reva ready, working on that Reva, awesome. So great priorities there. Uh, let's pop on over to Resistance. Yes, so we have the packs done. Uh, we got Zori Bliss at three stars. Definitely work some gear and some Zetas. I know you're probably really strapped. Uh, but get her up to like gear 11. Uh, slap the Zetas on there for 5v5. She's going to be great. 3v3, it's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, but Fin Fin and Poe is going to be great there. As far as mods, um, I mean, I did the video on it. But JTR, I think this is, you know, fine. It's a way to mod her. Um, 
I honestly don't know how to monitor. If, she, if she's going to be the offensive powerhouse on a team, you probably want to give her crit damage sets or offense sets or something. But really want to get some speed on resistance here of Finn. I know it's hard. Uh, 94 is not going to cut it. He needs to get things going. He's going to pass a turn off to Poe. And then Poe, you don't need a ton of speed. Just give him offense sets uh, with some decent speed, maybe like plus 100. Which, you know, too far off, but I've seen, like, really mismatched mods, like, health and tenacity. Um, and then, once you get a Zori up and running, your Finn, you just need bulky. Like, I think he's one of the easier ones to mod, because I'm not too worried about <laughs> speed. I guess you're not either, five. Uh, but protection primaries. When you're farming, just look for protection primaries in this period where you're going to be strapped for uh, mods, because... Those primaries are the most valuable cheap ones because at five dots, they're almost the maximum value you could get even at six dots. Uh, that's most of the Z uh, modding priority for right now. I mean, R2 looks, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I, I have to look at the rest of your roster's mods, but I'm guessing that it's not gonna go so much deeper than that that you can afford to get a ton of mods. Jedi is decked out, as we can see, but R3 on gas. Ooh, that's kind of a struggle bus. That is not what you want to have. I'm sure you're pulled every which right way right now, but you need some more relics on gas. When you can spare them. Relic 7 at least. Uh, let's see these guys get away with it. There's 8 on Bastila. That's actually, I mean, it's not the worst thing to go without. Clearly up to R7 for Leviathan. There he is, Caddy Moody, four star. No surprise. I'm not gonna chirp you for that. Phoenix, nope. But we do have the Omicron on Rex. I that might be a little bit of a premature Omicron with this level of gear. But I don't know. Let's check Rebel General. You get the Radis stuff. CLS is looking kind of weak. R3. Not really what you want to see. Uh, Ahsoka Fulcrum. Omicron. And it's nice for your guild. It's very generous of you. Uh, Mon Mothma team not really up and running. I mean, it, it's kind of nice for this set. Mon Mothma is going to be kind of nice. Um, but in general, I think that's probably a good call to skip. Like, that building up that team more. Not really... Worth the price of admission. Ufus, that's Star Killer and Mar Jade. Um, sure, if the pack got you there, probably not. It looks. I mean, that's a great Mar Jade. You probably have had that for a while. Uh, Seer working on it. You know, six stars. Nice. That's gonna be a really strong team. Oh, ooh, all gear eight. Or no, gear ten. It's, it's a little bit sad. But, I mean, you have no Lord Vader. But, lucky for you, I mean, Imperial Super Commando, not farmed up, but that's a great opportunity to make use of a mall without Lord Vader. Uh, Django Fett's going to be nice for it, Candorous. And then Gar and ISC. If you really don't want to gear up a fifth an Empire character, you can just throw in there. It should work. Is there anything else? I mean, okay, Founding Hunters, take a quick look before... Yeah, yeah, not really working on Java. Yeah, Zam. Um, I mean, everything is looking fine. I mean, the Mandos... Or Grief and Mando. A little bit weak. But I, I feel your pain. You have a lot of different priorities right now. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is further away... Or Kylo or Ray. Probably. Actually, I gotta, get, gotta get check ships to see that. Supreme Leader Kylo, you should be farming tickets. I Unless you don't have. Finalizer. Okay. Yeah, I guess Kylo first, then Ray. Um, just kind of work out sort, sorting the mods on those important characters. Uh, I know it's a lot, but yeah, for right now, that's the only thing to prescribe and just all those little criticisms I pulled up along the way. Some general mod schematics. Uh, JML R7. And you want them R9, of course, but it looks like you got a good focus on protection, so that's good, and pretty good speed. So uh, in the in your hands, he can definitely be a tool 
of power if you use him right, even though he's not R9. Got a fast Sith Eternal Emperor with some good health. I actually prefer that approach. I don't think there's too many wasted secondaries or anything. We got health, health. And it's not like your fastest speed, which is okay. Um, I would just say, if I'm nitpicking, go for more health percentage secondaries on the mods. I already looked at Marjade. Very fast, very good, very well modded. I like it. Some extra potency. Awesome. She was a great uh, pick to be fastest. Darth Revan, also fast. I like seeing that. Lots of health. Good speed. Crit damage. Beautiful. Yeah, just, this is great. This is how you mod them, people. Uh, health secondary, or the secondary set is health. And then you want health primary here. Health primary here. Health primary here. I mean, this could be offense too. Uh, crit damage there. Fantastic and really fast. Love the Darth Revan. Commander Soka. Pretty fast. Whoa. Mm. So for the third fastest non-GL, that's sh that's showing a little bit of lack of mod depth. And health, good. Protection. Mm. Swap this out for health. This isn't a good mod in any way. I mean, only eight speed and potency. She doesn't care about potency. So someone else can make use of that. Defense also don't like potency. Why am I missing something? Like why? No, <laughs> why potency? I mean the the only the only thing that's close to a debuff is armor shred, and that doesn't even count as a debuff, and it's irresistible. Get rid of the potency. Someone else could use this. That's a lot of extra potency. So don't like like everyone. Don't ignore like if you have a high roll of some secondary, just think okay, who needs this the most, and go to them. Uh, like an Inquisitor probably could make use of that. Uh, seventh Sister, pretty fast, plus 124. Protection, I like protection on her. Um, I do like a little bit of extra damage too, because she assists a lot, but protection, pure protection, is a fine way to go as well. So that's good. Star Killer, your health build looks like. Good speed, good damage triangle. Uh, yeah, uh, this is one of the two ways I think you can do it. I did it like this for a while, where it's just a lot of health instead of offense sets. Going for that big um, Star Destroyer hit. And this is actually the time where it's coming back in vogue, because we don't have the bulky crons anymore. Uh, with the bulky crons, we really needed more offense uh, on Star Killer because that one-time hit wasn't doing enough. But right now, that's a pretty good schema. All right. JKR 295. Given your mod availability, it's not too bad. But we do have five dot mods, which we don't like. Health is the right primary, but you want to slice it. Protection? No, 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 no. Health? Uh, protection? Yeah, protection is garbage. Less than 30,000. And then health isn't that great. Especially at R3, but it's going to go up as you can put some relics on him. Damn is fast, just to make use of that Omicron. Fair. I mean, I guess you can get the Annihilates off with Mando, it, even at a low gear. If he's not dying for you, I, I understand. And Piet, you know, not too fast, but until you build up Dark Trooper, that's fine. I don't think you need to have blaring, blazing fast mods on Piet. The damage is interesting, uh, but if he's on a team right now, he might be doing more of the damage. Um, without your Imperial Troopers up and running, I don't know, maybe put it with Darth Vader or something, because uh, that Imperial Trooper team isn't going to do too much, I don't think. You're 11. Second sister, I don't care about it. She doesn't need speed. Give her, like, donate some of her mods to someone else. I mean, yes, she has a ship. Do you have that ship? Actually. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, six dot mods are fine for her, but give her crap one. Give her, like, pilot mods, and then give those good mods to someone else. Uh, okay, gotta wrap it up soon. This we want to look at. Dash. Omicron Dash. Kind of curious modding. I mean, not super fast, not a ton of damage. Give him offense sets. Um, I think he has plenty of crit chance already. <laughs> what? What? Plus 56% for 143% crit chance. You don't need this crit chance on him. You don't need the primary. You don't need the sets. Offense set with health secondary. 
Um, go for as much offense and then a crit damage triangle. R3 Malgus. Uh, this is an account that is stretched way too thin. Um, I mean, Malgus, Gas, uh, Maul, like all top, top tier characters. Top five. Well, I don't know. Maul might be top five. Like top 10 non galactic legend characters just languishing in low relic territory. Um, yeah, I've done, I've done a lot of this already. So. Yeah, uh, th that's my advice. I mean, you're stretched thin. I wouldn't worry too much about farming new characters right now. Just trying to build up your mod depth and work on relics for the awesome characters you already have. And good luck. Thanks for letting me look at your account. Next account we're looking at is Rock This World, and they're with misunderstood Wookiees. Uh, so I hope their Wookiee faction is actually built. Um, but they are a 7.6 million GP player, a Rhodium 3. Uh, last account was Kyber 3 and 8.6 million so players a little bit further behind um said the account was started about four years ago but they took a year off and started again this year and they said they were working on profundity so let's see if they're close uh, support by rebel um look pretty close uh dash rendar might be the last one there i see hair is done yeah they're looking pretty good you only need piston um, yeah, they're really close, so that's good. Definitely finishing. Profundity is a great decision. I always think it's funny that Outrider is a rebel while Dash is not a rebel. But, go figure. Um, let's check out the rest of the ships if there's anything. I want to check Inquisitorious, see how they do on Conquest stuff. Okay, so we got TIE Interceptor, five stars. Not... So they're probably really behind on Conquest characters in general. Um, I actually, well, I don't know. Taking a year off and starting this year, that's that's kind of brutal for Conquest. So they're going to be behind in many ways. Let's see if they're working on that new ship. Nope. Probably don't even have Bad Batch. So even if they did have shards, maybe it's not activated. Let me check First Order, see if they have. Okay, they got Finalizer 7 stars. Um, let's look at the account. It's no slicker, but they're probably ready to work on slicker. Got Sith Eternal Emperor, JMK, and Jedi Master Luke. Just a fantastic fit for those bundles. Like when I see the people have three Galactic Legends and then they're not Rey or Kylo, that's just these packs, the Lightspeed bundles have just been the jackpot for players like this. Um, you know, Raz R9 with the Omicron, solid. Um, and Arena 3 probably can be pretty good on defense, even though I use them on offense. And let's start looking at factions. Let me see first order. Okay, nice. Uh, not R7 on Kylo Ren or Kylo Ren Mass. I forgot to take note of that in the last account, so I don't know if that last account was actually farming tickets. Uh, but modding is going to be a big focus on this account, too. Uh, for this... Let's in my eye. Uh, for this faction, you just want some speed on Hux. Um, in 5v5 you can get one team, and in 3v3 you can basically get one team if you give the Omicron to first door TIE Pilot. And then Kylo Ren and Mask is a nice plug and play for TIE Pilot. I mean, yeah, gear 12, like, it's get, this account's gonna be stretched so thin. Like, all these accounts are stretched so incredibly thin. Sith Trooper has the most general value, general purpose value, so definitely something you want mods on. Um, there's other characters you can have no mods on, but give him offense, um, as much damage as you can. What's his base crit chance? Um, so actually not super high. So he's actually someone you can do like the offense set with crit chance. I see a lot of people overloading crit chance on characters that don't need it. Um, this guy, I mean, yeah, you want mods for ships. Uh, four star officer. I'm surprised Sith Trooper is one of the ones that hasn't gotten mods yet. Is he the only one? It seems like it, because he's at the at the bottom. Yeah, Executioner. I mean, aside from Supreme or Kylo farming, most of this faction isn't like the huge priority for building a team. Because it's not that great anyway. I'm surprised they have Kylo Ren, Zeta. But maybe that's a, a vestige of years gone by. Which they did. Oh no, we got both here, so. Let's crew mod it though. A little weak. Um, as far as hit points. 
Like I said before, the bargain way to mod a tank is protection primary, so that's the most impactful. Defense set, protection primary. Health set's great only if you're at six dots. So these five dot health primaries and then defense, not really cutting it. I, in my opinion, I'd replace all of them with protection um, until you can get some more health. He does like health, but it's just more expensive. Uh, resistance. So they are up and running. R7 JTR. Uh, stick raise not to R7 yet. EB8 is going to be a while. Uh, so got some time. <laughs> I mean, they're getting prepared. Got the Zeta. Um, I mean, that's it's good to have Zetas on her, but yeah, give her some gear if you're going to do the Zeta. I mean, Zetas are really valuable. So Zeta on the one unique and then the basic next. I don't know. Uh, if you're going to use her, you're definitely going to want to mod all the fins and all the pose. Uh, Rose is only a real option if she has Omicron for Grand Arena. Um, and then until you get Jedi, er, like Legend Ray, I'd put Ray with some droids like BB-8 R2. It's nice that you have R2 um, from, looks like from JML and R7. And put L3, T3, and 4. You can make a pretty decent team. Uh, JTR, BB-8, and R2 work well together, and then the droids all support each other. Ben, you're gonna want, like, definitely gonna want some speed on him. Um, even before you have Zori up and running, you can be running a JTR team. JTR, Poe, like, most of the Zetas aren't too, like, you can make this work without a ton of Zetas. It looks like you already have some Zetas on Jedi Training Ray, so you can make a good team there. Um, especially with BB-8 at gear 12, you can do some stuff. Put speed mods on uh, Resistance Hero Fan. I think he likes either health or offense for primary focus. Nepo, give him offense and a little bit of speed because he bounces off uh, Resistance Hero Fan. But yeah, triple Zeta on JTR. She is more than built enough. Health is fine, good speed. Yeah, if you have her built up so much, um, I would even like, you can slow her down a little bit just to afford mods for Finn and Poe. But they're the priorities. BB-8's another one, but, or to just have mods. You don't need to like really make him super fast. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't like applying this uh, Omic Omega, but if you're not running it with all Troys, it's not gonna hurt you. But yeah, I mean, that's most of it. Then when you get Zori up and running, you're gonna have to mod your Finn's and Pose, like a uh, normal fin for protection, not, not even speed, defense sets with protection, like all defense sets. So you might want to farm some more defense mods in general. Okay, I'm tired of looking at the first order of resistance. Let's see, <laughs> his reviews are taking longer and longer. Um, Rebels looking all right. A Flowbot. Did he, did he come in a pack? I don't know, that's too much for Loba. They don't struggle to run. Eh. Phoenix not up and running. You're gonna eventually want a tank for that uh, Rogue One team, and K2SO is probably the best bet. Uh, otherwise, Rebels look fine. I mean, a week, CLS, R4. Yeah, but it's serviceable. I mean, that team can run circles around people. Let's see, Empire. Dark Trooper, uh, Dark Trooper, four star. So that's sad. Um, but you know, I don't get as much use out of my troopers anymore. I will for set eleven, I'm sure. But they're falling by the wayside more. So, got Mara Jade fully loaded. Uh, can I check on online force users? I think they have Star Killer. Just not up to snuff yet. Yeah, so he's he's probably taking the cake for highest priority for gear right now since he's a legendary galactic legend killer and he's already finished. So you're gonna need gear and relics for him. It's it's hard, man. This account is stretched so thin. I don't even know. Sith, solid Sith, Savage. Hmm. So, I mean, Savage is amazing. Definitely recommend Relic and Omicron at some point. 
Uh, I mean, other than Spring Man, Kylo Ren, and Ray, like after that, I'd say just hold off on Galactic Legends, build up your roster, make it well balanced in lots of different ways. Uh, I'm not gonna check every faction now. Let me see. Already taking a lot of time. Wizards, and yeah, they're not not up. I don't know. I'm not gonna say you're working on them. They, you have too much to do. Yeah, looking solid. Gas R5. I mean, it's not the worst. Damn. Ooh, five star. Fancy, not just four star. <sighs> oh, too much to look at. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop looking at stuff now and just look at some mods. Actually, there's one E faction I forgot to take a look at because the misunderstood Wookiees. I mean, you got three. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, don't. I'm not gonna say we're not Tarful right now. You're saying, okay. So some of them have some love. Uh, okay. Let's check JML. Should be lots of protection. You could get more. Uh, speed's fine. A little bit of potency is nice. See all the. Yeah, just work on getting good protection percent secondaries on the ones that can't have the primary too. So the Eternal Emperor. Not too slow and lots of health. I think that's fine. That is a suitable setup for him. Uh, and then Radis, I want him bulky and fast, but you could spare his speed. I mean, yeah, I have mine super fast too, but you don't actually need him so fast. You might be able to donate some of these mods to others. I don't like how low this protection is. I like pretty balanced protection and health for him so offense you can probably give this to someone else you want protection or health again offense no uh most of the damage on this team i mean yes he, he will get a bigger hit from offense because of his true damage with the hope ability but most of the time when you're going to be winning you're going to do a lot of it from the exposes and you just need wrath to survive i'd take that health and protection over offense any day Piet, again, you don't need to give him this much speed when you have tier one Dark Trooper. Uh, maybe you can make this work for you, but and that's an offense set. If that's a if that's a resistance here, Finn. Uh, but you don't need Piet that fast. His speed is not affecting his ship speed. Darth Revan, um, pretty good speed, crit damage triangle, but I think the primary is going to need some more. Yeah, no defense, use health or offense. That one's good there, health. Okay. Uh, caps. This is acceptable, but too much tenacity. You want health. Health or offense there. I understand not everyone's gonna have everything available. Yoda's really fast. I don't know. I mean, it's not the worst with JML. I don't know. I, I don't think you need this much speed on Yoda for this account. If you're in a Rhodium three, I don't have think you. You probably don't have a super specific need for it. Uh, he. Did, I mean, he wants offense more than speed. There are some counters where you want speed, like if you're taking JML against JMK. But I wouldn't recommend that anyway with a R7 JML. GTR, I mean, she's built up. She could probably spare some of her speed mods, because until we have Finn up, she doesn't need all the speed. More Jade, 300. All right, this is where team mods are starting to fall off. Um, Give her some of Piet's mods or something. Or Piet's mods, maybe when Starkiller is up and running, maybe Starkiller can get some. At least some of the offense set ones. Uh, Shango. Gotta check him out, but it's kind of cool that he's inside. Gas. I mean, for R5, yeah, you're making it work. Good speed. Speed is not as important. You want protection as the focus, but you've done that, so. For your I-5 gas, you're making it work. Uh, Relic 2 JKR, interesting stopping point. That's like one of the most rare relics, R2. Uh, D2. Uh, plus 122 speed, that's fine. This one's health, potency. I guess that helps with the uh, 
it's done. A chance, mm, only for the Great Ray, but it doesn't look like you're built for the Great Ray because you still have speed set. Okay, we're running out of time here. Uh, Rex. Rex. Oh, he has a, he's a slow base, so 122 speed is decent. Uh, I'm trying to look for someone else you can analyze mods from. Current start. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I don't think you have tons of mod depth. You definitely need to work on farming more mods. Let's see if boss is good setup. Good protection. Uh, and decent speed. Okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, I have mine way faster and speed sets, but for you, I think just defense and protection is a good place to start. Malik. Uh, I need more protection for sure. No, protection. Protection. That's good. Need to work on some protection mods, uh, is what I'm gathering too. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna stop there. Let's finish. Maybe. At least crit damage is the focus. <laughs> uh, level that mod up, you're missing out on 15% crit damage. Uh, yeah, so a lot of work to do. I mean, I can see where Rhodium 3 is coming in. Um, getting profundity will be nice. I wouldn't say work on any other ships after that. For now you got Executor done. Uh, well, actually, I take it back. Getting Iden up for this, you have TIE Interceptor, so you can get a serviceable Chimera going, even without Scythe. It's not going to beat Leviathan, but it's going to be nice. Uh, but anyway, thanks for letting me look at your account, and good luck with your progress. And our last account for today is Caesar Santos. It's a smaller one, Carbonite 2. They're in Rancor 8, my BB2. I don't understand. BB2. Uh, 3.1 million uh, GP. They started in 2022, uh, March 2022. So they're focused on PvP. They're a free-to-play player, so they're about a year and a half in the account, plus a little bit. So, uh, I don't know. Not terrible progress. Uh, not blowing me away there, 3.1 million. Uh, so, at a glance, it does not look like they bought the packs. Um, I mean, if there's any time to break free-to-play, it's now... Yeah, I. Let me see first order. I mean, I don't like that when people just stop being free to play, but at least buy like the, the Kylo Ren pack, like the BB-8 pack, because uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna be a real big help. I'm seeing a lot of accounts stretched thin, so I don't know if you want to get the others. But if you ever buy normal video games and you have some cash laying around, like that's uh, expendable, I'd get some of these packs. Um, no Galactic Legends yet. We got Boss, Boba Fett. So they might be working on Executor, if I had to guess. CLS, Giant Revan. Um, the ones I'm seeing in blue, I'm mostly liking. Uh, Rolo and Captain Han, only if they're going for Jedi Knight Luke. And I think they are. I mean, R3, Commander Luke, C3PO. So yeah, going for Jedi Knight Luke, probably, and then might be going for JML. Um, definitely recommend Executor too. This is gonna be a harder one to evaluate. I mean, the data fronts, of course. Um, ships. Uh, nice seven star hounds tooth. It's interesting. Seven star tie echelon. Really go for the Supreme Air Kylo one. We got a seven star echelon, a seven star first board TIE fighter, and a one star silencer. Yeah, makes sense. Um, uh, bounty hunters, I guess I should check out. Okay, looks good. Um, working towards the executor. Yeah, definitely executor. It's going to be a great first stop in the, the massive character farming. But. I guess you're going for Giant Knight Luke first. And if you like Giant Knight Luke, I can't tell you not to do that because he's a good character. Grief is built up. Let me just start looking at factions. Uh, so this is a pretty solid bounty hunter. Oh, I guess you're going for Jabba, um, which I mean, I did recommend as an option in my May replay farming guide. Uh, and But when I did that, I didn't realize the Ray was going to be so short-lived 
um, and just so weakened. I thought at least like when a new raid popped up, Crate Ray would stay at its level of viability, but it's actually decreasing. This get three is going down. Uh, if you want to go for Jabba, I mean, that's, he's still a great Galactic Legend. He is extremely strong. Um, but I don't know if it's like the slam dunk that it seemed like it was at first. Um, but yeah, it looks like you're going for him. So more power to you. That's not going to be in any kind of pack anytime soon. Executor, Jabba, solid. Uh, Bounty Hunters look like they're they're going to work as you have them. Boss, Boba Fett, Grief, Mando, and Django, I think would be a great team. Um, not really our lead. But yeah, they're getting stuff done. Fennec, probably don't need to work on right now. Uh, her, her only role in life is to get to Bosk's Contract Fast or beat Lord Vader at a high end of the game, which you're not at. So don't worry about Fennec for now. Well, except for Java, duh. So for Java, you're going to be getting her, I guess. Empire, only Darth Vader. Um, I get some gear on Mara Jade, even though she's three stars. Give her a little bit of mods. Her under Emperor Palpatine with Darth Vader is going to be nuts. But you need the Zeta on Emperor Palpatine. Don't worry about his unique. Give him the lead Zeta. It's fantastic. What Zetas are here? Good. This is good. No leader Zeta. Zetas are precious for you. Uh, Merciless Massacre, top priority. This one's nice to have, but leadership. Give Palp his leadership. Uh, even with a setup like this. You can put Tarkin in there. You can put uh, Marjade if you give her some gear. Then you have Moff Gideon. I, I mean, I don't know. Your troopers might be doing something in Carbonite. But, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so what else? Maybe Jedi we're looking at... You got a solid team here. Uh, Revan, Basta, Jolie, Yoda, and Mace. That's actually pretty nice. Pretty clean team for uh, low GP. Uh, GK, I'd say, to get up. And Anakin, they have multiple uses. Uh, and start farming one of those capital ships, like Negotiator or... Probably Negotiator or Malevolence. Depending on what you want to do. Uh, Sith, I guess. Sith Empire. Or, like Darth Revan's looking nice. Which Zeta do you not have? The leader the leader is fantastic, kids. It really did Zeta. Uh, but Savage, nice. Year 12 up and running. That's a fantastic character. Malik unlocked. Very nice. Uh, so that's where your get one should be going. Uh, and what else do they have? Like, get to it. Like, there's some other way to farm it, I guess, too. Um, Treya. I mean, there's a lot of things you want to get, but with an account this low. I don't want to say get Shreya and Nihilus and maybe even Scion up and running before you start worrying about Java. I mean, Java is really swinging for the fences. And even though I recommended it as a first Galactic Legend in some ways, uh, that doesn't mean you should rush to a, a Galactic Legend, like any Galactic Legend. Okay, um, I think that's enough to look at for now. Geos, cap them out at gear 11 or gear 12 eventually. Like Republic. Yeah, I mean, Qui-Gon Omicron's nice. I don't know. Yeah, I like GK to get built up. Yeah, uh, let's just look at some mods, although it's going to be probably not too pretty for an account this size. <laughs> oh no, I'm look just like, I'm still just sick. I like the Republic, never mind. Okay, I thought R2-D2 was the fastest of them all. Revan with offense. Ooh. Hmm. 41 fastest character. I don't like offense on Revan. He's not the big damage dealer. You want speed. But I don't think you have much speed to go around. Um, yeah, this account, to like play in a lot of modes, you're really going to need to work on the mods. Like, better speed. Like, just work at trying to get more speed on the secondaries. This is a good, you know, good setup with protection, but he's still really slow. You're gonna really struggle to climb anywhere without good speed. 75. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to like critique because like across the board, it's really slow. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, six. Like all these are like 60 and 70, and I'm like half of that is just arrows. So if you don't know already, 
When you're farming mods, you want to look for mods with speed in the secondary. The devs even helped out by highlighting speed. Yeah, here. So, like, in general, you want to slice up green mods to blue when you have, like, I don't know, seven, six, seven, eight, like, two rolls of speed on the green. And then with blue, also, you want to make sure you have a couple rolls to get it to purple. This is three slices, but it's only 11. I mean, it's hard. It's a whole thing. I like, I have a mod, a uh, video on mods for noobs. You can look it up. Just look it up on my channel. And that'll help you. But yeah, a lot of work to go. I guess Darth, I'll try to look at some key ones. Darth Vader. So this is six dot speed set mods, but they're not fast. So slicing materials are very valuable. You don't want to waste them on bad mods. Um, I like the crit damage triangle, but you want on Darth Vader offense or crit damage sets, so he does more damage. This is a very slow set, and you sliced up speed. Like, you need to be getting something. He's getting a little extra speed from them being sliced, but 59 is so slow. Let's go for offense on him. Um, uh, CLS is down here. How many crit damage on CLS? <laughs> 23? What do you have on this? Like, this is nonsensical. Almost. This is the thing that makes the most sense. Great damage, but there's no speed there. Just tons of work to do. I don't even know where to start. Just get some mods. Wampa. 43. Yeah, it's hard, man. I mean, off for Wampa, offense, health, great damage. I'm not one of the tenacity fans. Yeah, uh, I'm going to call it quits for now. you got a lot of work to do on the mods. Uh, the account doesn't look bad from like a roster build perspective of 3.1 million in your time. I like the characters you're going for, but mods are honestly terrible. So good luck. Definitely need to work on that. But anyway, thank you for letting me look at your account. I hope this wasn't too harsh. Just want to help you out. All right, that's all, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thanks, everyone. See you later.